you always had in your mind that you wanted to be in politics. Well, I wanted to join politics, no doubt about it. I had uh, uh, very uh, deep interest uh, in matters that are political and social and to uh, improve the conditions of the people and to improve the system of governance. But those days, you know, uh, politics was not a profession that would give you the livelihood. I had uh, thought several times that why not I quit and join politics. That also did not happen. Then much later when the MPs and MLS uh, uh, started getting salaries, their pay was very high and now it is still higher. Then I thought uh, I, it is time for me to join. So I discussed with my wife, telling that why not I quit and if I become MP or MLA, I can support the family as I am supporting as an Indian police service officer. But she is more practical. She said, what would happen supposing you don't win the election? So what has been your experience in the last five years? Because we, we were given to understand that you have been a strict governor of Meghalaya. Well, I have, my, I have done my duty, whatever uh, came to me, to the best of my ability. And uh, keeping with the democratic traditions and uh, the constitutional requirements, I have done my duty as the governor of the state of Meghalaya, uh, with which uh, I am deeply associated. Most of the legislators in Meghalaya, not to talk about other states in the northeast of the country, that you know, legislators, they don't know how to raise the voice of the people they represent. Do you see that functioning of the house in our Meghalaya is not up to the mark? You know, you have touched a point here is very important. You know, our representatives, people's representatives like MLAs and MPs, uh, it is unfortunate that if they are in Delhi as member of parliament, uh, they do not really raise the issues that are important for the Northeast and also nationally important. That is a fact. We don't have uh, MPs who are known nationally and whose voice would count. Now coming back near our home, the MLAs, you know, uh, most of our MLAs, they really do not uh, participate actively in the assembly proceedings. Meghalaya is a very small state and we know that there are very few militant outfits that actually exist and they have been fighting for separate Garodan as well, Khasi Jayanti Hills also. So in a situation, do you see that, you know, the chief minister of state is behaving very tough with the militants, that that's why they are not coming forward for talk? They have been asked to come for discussions. They have also been told that, well, you stop the violence and then come forward for discussion. They are most welcome to come, but they have not responded. The, the active group there is the GNLA, but sure. of late, there are other splinter groups which are coming, even from ANVC and others, they are coming. And now, what is happening, not only in Meghalaya, all over the Northeast, some small fractions, they uh, take to arms, and their, their intention is uh, not to liberate uh, people from uh, the present conditions, their objective is to just find some money, some source. Do you think that, you know, creation of more smaller states in India will, you know, uh, help the problems of different ethnic communities who are saying that they are feeling alienated, they are, uh, they are being given stepmotherly treatment by the Delhi or the respective state concern? You know, uh, Assam is a very complex state. It is a multilingual, multi-religious multi-ethnic, multicultural uh, uh, group staying in the same state. So naturally we have diverse interest. And so far as the uh, autonomous councils and autonomous um, districts are concerned, those have been arranged uh, with the objective of uh, providing these ethnic small minorities. Some uh, way to uh, grow in their own way. So uh, now there are three district councils in uh, Assam, uh, Bodoland Area District uh, Council, then we have the Karbi Hills District Council and the uh, Dimahasau District Council. Besides that we have number of autonomous councils like Labaharsang Autonomous Council, Sonwal Autonomous Council, Tiwa Autonomous Council and so on and so forth. So all these 
um, should be able to function in such a way that they, they are able to address to the problems of those communities. Do you think that like as being proposed by the center that Assam should be given a tribal state status that will help somehow the different ethnic communities in Assam because as you are saying that Assam is a complex state. You know just merely changing the name of Assam as a tribal state or non-tribal state is not going to solve the problem. Do you think that you know you will be able to represent you know the borderland part of the country in India? Not only the Bodos. You have not because I am a Bodo, I want to join politics. But because I feel that yes, I can contribute something by joining politics. Because politics really gives you greater opportunity to serve the society, to bring about change. Would you, would you consider you know, representing Assams, any part of this Assam as in the Rajya Sabha? Yes, it's a big if, why not? Who would not like to be uh, nominated to uh, uh, parliament? Uh, I don't think there is anyone who wouldn't like to be, but then it depends on the uh, political party. Which party are you looking at? It's an open issue for me. When the time comes, I will take the call.